Well, I'm out here this weekend at DB Hunting Ranch, which is a ranch located in Central Texas in the hill country of Central Texas. And uh, I'm excited to be out here with my beloved 1943 Mosin Nagant, the first Mosin Nagant that I purchased. I have a Leopold scope on it. I've got a JMX scope mount. And uh, Max Shepard did the bolt bend for me, which was a uh, beautiful, beautiful product when it all came together. I even refinished the stock on this one as well, and I've had it on a couple of other videos as well. I'm excited to be back out here because I was out here about three weeks ago when one of my hunting trips out of town canceled. And this is only about 30 minutes away from my house here in Central Texas. Um, thunderstorm blew through right at the end of the hunting light and I uh, could, uh, could not do any good with the hogs because they just did not want to come in and um, they were not interested in feeding at that point. So I'm back out here, different stand. This is one of the um, single hunter stands that DB Hunting Ranch has. Very, very nice accommodations out here. Um, about, oh, 75 yards to the feeder and, uh, hunting with the good old 1943 Mosin and Gaunt. So I've always wanted to film a hog hunt with one of these long rifles and, i um, excited about, uh, tonight and what we might see. I'm out here tonight with the varmintlights.com VRL1 flashlight tonight that I'm going to be mo uh, mounting on top of my Mosin and Gaunt. And uh, this is a really cool flashlight. This is similar to a lot of other flashlights that are on the market, but the one difference is the components that are inside. A lot of people just get these in from China and just um, you know send them on through. Varmalites.com takes and uh, works the internal components through and makes sure everything's quality and everything's working. They have very few returns, and that's one of the reasons why they're my sponsor because I don't like to deal with the hassle of returns, and I'm sure you don't either. But this is the varmintlights.com VRL1. We're going to be trying to shoot some hogs with it tonight. I had to climb out of the blind where I had a little bit better shooting light, but uh, he went down right away. That's a nice looking hog. I love that you can shoot a uh, a wild game animal with a gun that possibly served in Stalingrad. That is just a neat feeling to hunt with something that uh, is uh, really a weapon of war, but it can be pressed into service as a hunting rifle very easily. Big.
I'm back here with our two hogs from tonight. One of them I got with um, daylight and one of them I got with the Varmint Lights VRL1 flashlight. My first kill on film with this particular flashlight. So that was exciting and gave me another chance to uh, harvest another hog and uh, that I normally would not have. So that's kind of nice. So we've got a boar and a sow here. 1943 Mosin Nagant, um, old rifle, but can still definitely do some hunting. Thank you so much for watching.